How do you get a book deal? It's not easy to do. And for me, it took me like 20 years of writing. I started writing in high school and I finally got a book deal last year. And my book, Sky's End, is getting published by Peachtree Teen next spring. Now, the first thing to be concerned about is to write a great book. Writing a great book is not easy to do. And regardless of what happens in the market, regardless of what agents and publishers are looking for, if you write a great book, it always gives you a chance. Some things you can do to help yourself improve is by reading books that teach you about craft, that teach you how to become a better author, or also reading books that you love and studying them and figuring out what the author did. Also, carving time into your schedule when you can set up a routine of writing Practicing writing almost on the daily, maybe not necessarily daily, but what you're capable of and practicing as much as possible. Also, you're going to want to experiment in the type of writing that you're doing. Past tense, present tense, first person, third person, mix it up. Um, consider, you know, ideas themselves. Lots of people have great book ideas, but the actual execution of a book, that's a different matter entirely. It's more than just having a good idea. A good idea doesn't generally sell a book. A good idea is a good starting point. It's a launching point, but then you actually have to go through and execute the book, write the book well. Then once you've made that very important step of writing a great book, and it might take you several books before you write a great book. I wrote five books before I wrote a great book. My sixth book is my book that's getting published. The vast majority of authors have to write multiple books. I've heard averages anywhere from four to six books before an author actually gets an agent and a book deal. Once you've written that great book, or you can keep trying with any book you've written, really, um, you're going to start submitting to literary agents. Getting a literary agent is incredibly difficult, and there's a lot of authors who are trying to get literary agents, so it's not easy to do. Make sure you spend a lot of time researching literary agents. You can go to websites like querytracker.net. Um, when you're on there, also a good thing to do is maybe open up the acknowledgments of some of your favorite authors um, and their books and they usually will thank their literary agents in their acknowledgments. So that's a way that you can find them as well. Also make sure that you research each individual agent, make sure that they represent the thing that you wanna to send to them. If you've written a big science fiction epic, you know, space opera, uh, and you send it to an agent that only rep represents picture books, they're not gonna say yes. And even if they did say yes, it probably wouldn't be a good agent to, to work with because they don't have the connections to be able to sell your book. That picture book, agent probably only has connections with picture book publishers. If you are able to get a literary agent, it's a monumental achievement. There's lots of writers who never get literary agents. There's lots of writers who give up because it's so hard. If you do manage to get one, then celebrate, lose your mind, whatever you got to do, because it's amazing. After that, you usually work with edits with your agent. It depends on who your agent is and their background. Um, and then you're going to go on submission to publishers with your um, agent. If your agent's well-connected, they're going to know specifically who they have in mind who are going to be perfect fits, which imprints at publishers, which editors at publishers are going to be like, yes, I got to read this. Um, after several months, it usually is going to take months. Sometimes it's going to take years. You'll start hearing back responses um, and they could be polite passes. One of the great things about when you're on submission is that editors are more likely to give you feedback than agents are on the agent level where it's just like a form rejection when you get rejected. But editors often are going to give you a reason why they're passing or they couldn't do it. Um, you might hear that your book's going to acquisitions, which is really exciting. And that means an editor loves your book so much that they are now taking it in front of their big acquisitions board. Um, and they're going to try to convince the people who hold the checkbooks to open up the checkbooks and to write you a check so that they can publish your book. It's very exciting. The media likes talking about, and we like hearing the stories about the author who, you know, worked on a book for three months. They sent it off, they got an agent in two weeks, their agent sent it off, and two weeks later they have 10 offers from 10 different publishers. It goes to auction, they get a significant deal, um, but those kind of things are really rare. The majority of authors have had to shelve multiple books, they endured, you know, dozens if not hundreds of rejections, um, and when they actually got their moment, you know, some people might be like they're an overnight success, but that's not true. They've been working for years and years and years. So if you're really interested in this, just keep in mind that there's, you're going to get rejected. I can promise you, you're going to get rejected and you're probably going to get rejected a lot. So start building up that hide, you know, start building up that thin, that, that not thin skin, that skin and make it nice and thick. Um, because the reality is, is rejection is part of publishing. Even the best, the most successful authors do get turned down. Um, and you can write a great book and it might not be the right fit for a publisher or for an agent at that particular time. You know, you need to shrug it off and just keep plugging along and believe in yourself and keep fighting.